Hello and welcome to Southern Maryland Week in Review Edition, a partnership between the Southern Maryland News and the Forest Career and Technology Center's TV video production program. I'm Landreth. And I'm Nolan. And here's what we have for you on this week's Southern Maryland Wire. Governor Larry Hogan has announced that he will not be running for U.S. Senate. This announcement will be a complete shock to his supporters and peers, a massive blow to Republicans hoping to win the seat in November, allowing a shift in majority as the Senate is split 50-50. A 32-year-old woman jumped from the Thomas Johnson Bridge on Saturday morning. This brings the number of bridge suicides to 18, adding to the recent deaths of a 19-year-old woman in Andrew Sukram of Leonardtown High School. This sparks a call for adding netting to the bridge. A St. Mary's County woman has gathered 6,000 signatures so far on a petition for the safety measures. People in a crisis should call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255 or texting hello to 741-741. County commissioners from St. Mary's, Calvert, and Charles Counties held a joint meeting to discuss progress on the formation of police accountability boards. All counties have made significant progress in selecting board members, and St. Mary's will allow for the public to provide input on regulations on March 1st. During a February 5th meeting, St. Mary's College approves two new majors. The board unanimously approved of adding business and performing arts. Combining previous majors, including music, theater, film, and media studies to create performing arts, as well as making a business administration major available. Now turning to sports. Calvert Wrestling edges Fairmont in the semifinals coming out on top with a score of 35-27. to Monday evening, Calvert High School Wrestling took its first small steps towards a potential 2A South Region title by edging visiting Fairmont Heights. Patuxent girls upended La Palata basketball team last Wednesday on February 2nd. Patuxent used a 13-0 run to close the first quarter for a 16-2 lead, then ended the second quarter on a 9-0 run for a comfortable 27-8 advantage at intermission. Patuxent finished with a final score of 45-25 over La Plata. That's all we have for you on this week's edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. I'm Nolan. And I'm Landra. Signing off.